Now, let's also talk about cooling it down outdoors. We really need cooling options that do not rely on electricity because cooling without power is much better for the environment, especially as many, um, many of the countries in the global south are powered by coal. And that's the dirtiest fossil fuel. But it's also about investing in solutions that work without power. One of the biggest challenges of extreme heat is once temperatures pass um, 50 degrees Celsius, power grid starts to fail due to the extreme temperatures and too much demand. And we've already seen this happen. So we really need to start thinking about alternatives. Yeah, absolutely. It's probably the thing that concerns me the most, the power grid failure. Uh, but two, two, two examples of outdoor cooling that I've been able to find that do not run on energy. One mm -hmm. is called the Yanko Design Ad Adiabatic Urban Cooling Bamboo. Just do a search for um, aircon bamboo <laughs> and, and it'll come up or uh, it's, it's in the blog. And Cool Ants Beehive, which is from India, which is made of terracotta. So these solutions run on air and water. And what we need to be looking at solutions like this in workers' camps, Indigenous villages, refugee camps, slums, markets, at festivals, religious events and so on, as well as the main areas where citizens and tourists gather in public places. So 100 people died in India during a religious festival. So we need to get these sort of systems put up in those sort of environments so that they have a chance of being able to survive those events. And one of the inventions that actually could help is solar-powered water mist fans. Now, these are industrial-scale water mist fans and it could be vital in cooling the skin in wet bulb temperatures. However, to ensure success, we would need to look at running these fans off independent solar panels so that they don't go down when the grid comes down. Yeah. So water, think about water's... inventions like this. Yeah. yeah. Uncommon courage, Uncommon courage. should be everywhere. Should be